If you need to make your team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins. Remember to use my discount code ELI to enjoy 6% off. Most of you guys know U7Buy for its FC coin service. Apart from FC coins, U7Buy also provides more game services like top-up mobile games, gift cards, game keys, and more. Click my link in my description and enjoy the cheapest price now. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. All right. We have meta tactics to go over today. Tactics that got me into the elite division. I'll show you guys right now. Since some people don't believe me and they think I'm in like division five or something. There you go. Elite division. Just got there. Um, usually, an, uh, I usually play in the elite division or division one. I just try not to because of the, because if I'm trying to recreate authentic tactics, it makes it very, very difficult. But to prove a point, to show you guys that I can make it there and it's not that difficult. I literally got there with this exact team. It's not that hard. Um, yeah, there you go. Just for the proof. But today we're going over the 4-3-3 fourth variation. We're going over this formation. This is the formation. These three are actually what got me into the elite division. Um, especially this one, the 4-3-3-4, which is what I'm going over with right now with you. Um, if I get 30 likes on this video, I will post uh, this one, the 4-4-2 second variation. is very, very good defensively uh, and good to hit on counterattacks. And then if I get 60 likes, I'll post this one, 4 2 3 one this one is very authentic, very, very slow buildup, if that makes sense. Possession based, methodical thinking, just a lot of pass and go, pass and go, pass and go. Almost no skill moves whatsoever on this one right here. Um, but I, we're going to go over this formation right now. I will post some gameplay, uh, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, uh, maybe tomorrow or maybe the next day. And no weekly tactics. Uh, this week, I just had absolutely no time. Therefore, I'm going to post all three of these tactics today uh these three if i get those likes and then going forward i'll post more tactics just yeah run out of time you know yeah, yeah it happens you get uh you get more job responsibilities that means less time but yeah anywho let's go over this formation the four two three fourth variation and then i'll go over who plays where instructions all that good stuff uh, tactics are as follows balance 39 with I was experimenting with 45, 40, 39 is just a sweet spot for this formation right now. Uh, I usually like to play 37, but for new gen, 39, old gen, 37. That is it. So yes, before we continue on the tactics, these are for both old gen and new gen. I'll show you how to customize for both. Just listen. Um, so 39 new gen, 37 old gen. Leave it there. Uh, depth. I leave it at 60. I'm playing new gen. This allows me to be very neutral, but at the same time, I can be aggressive when I want to be aggressive. And it lets my players press a little bit, not too much, so they won't really be too much out of position. 60 is a good spot for me right now. Um, if you're on old gen, I recommend 57 to 55. Somewhere around there will be a good spot for you too. Now, this formation, since it's, it is a, a four at the back and you do have two center mids and you have the wingers, you can press if you want to do the the manual or the auto press. Sorry, um, you can put 71 depth. If you do that, then just raise this to 45. That is completely up to you if you want to play that way. I don't want to play that way, especially when I'm playing in the higher divisions, just because it could be good against one player, but against another player, if they know how to play against it, they're just gonna over the top through ball you every single time, and or run down the wings, and you're gonna get caught on the counters. And when you play in a higher division or people that know how to actually play or how to abuse some mechanics, it's just going to be very, very frustrating, and you don't want to go through that. So for me personally, I don't want to go through it. That's why I leave it at 60. I'd rather be more conservative, but if you like to be more aggressive and you just like to press your opponent, then go ahead. You can put at 71 depth. Now, both of these, you already know, has to be balanced direct passing if you want to make it really meta. If you don't want to make it meta, then you can kind of change it up to whatever you want. But I experimented with everything on this formation. Uh, indirect passing is just superior for my liking in this exact formation with 40 i experimented with 50 55 47 40 just allows the right winger and the left winger to be basically to cut inside into the half spaces so let me show you what i mean uh so this these two will cut inside into the half spaces the half spaces are in between the fullback and the center back uh so on both uh sides of the field so think about it like this like your left winger will cut inside, run, run right in the middle between Yudogi and Akanji if I was playing against that back line, if that makes sense. Um, which, if your opponent doesn't know how to manually 
run back with your with their defenders or how to manually uh, defend those runs, then they'll get caught on those splits, and then you could just send a quick through ball and you're you're good on goal. Uh, therefore, that's why I put 40 with players in the box six. Uh, don't put it any higher. Six was good. I tried everything. Seven, four, even eight. Seven is good. Corners and free kicks. I've been experimenting on three. Eh, I'm 50 50. Wishy washy on it. I like one, but I've been experimenting on three, trying to get better at corner kicks. But I just I can't for the life of me. Uh, for whatever you guys want to do on here, you guys can do whatever. All right, players and who goes where. But before I go over this, go ahead and hit that like and hit that subscribe button if I ever helped you guys out on everything. And going forward next week, I probably will start posting. Um, or if you guys want to follow me on my Twitter, it'll be in the description. It's at Eli Empire. Um, 33 i believe i'm not sure you just check on my description i will be going over sports betting i don't know if you guys are interested in it uh, if you guys want to make a little bit extra change in your pocket then i will be opening up a group i'm only going to let like 30 people in um so first 30 that i get messages on we'll go forward with that uh try to make a little bit extra change in our pockets um and um have fun if that makes sense and betting on real world uh, football, soccer games, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, we'll go forward with that probably next week. Anywho, instructions, uh, or sorry, not instructions, but who you got to play where. Just make sure you play meta, meta, meta center backs. You know, I go over this every single week. The higher the divisions you go, the more uh, meta center backs you need. And you need center backs with actual play styles. Um, it doesn't have to be play style pluses that are very good. Just make sure that they have play styles and then they have a lot of pace. Right back and left back. As you can tell, I'm playing Pedro Poro and Yudogi. They are not absolutely the best full meta fullbacks, but they do enough. They have the play styles. They have the the crossing, the passing, the long ball, the jockey, whatever you need to get done. Just make sure you have good fullbacks that can do a little bit of everything, attack, defend, a little bit of everything. At this point in the game, you should have very good fullbacks that can do a little bit of both. Uh, but they're very important in this formation just because they will be connecting uh, the passes to either the right winger and the left winger and doing over the top through balls to them uh, You have two center mids. I like to play with one box-to-box -box center mid. So for me, that's Frank Lampard just packed them. He's decent He's all right a little clunky, but he gets the job done and then uh, I like to play one CDM Which is Makalele. I love Makalele in this game. I know people like Shua many but Makalele for me is, is really good just because he has that little rocket play style So he's a little bit faster um, but I recommend playing one box to box and one CDM or number six tankish player medium high low high Whatever you want to call it or if you want to play two box to box center mids, that's fine um, But you'll go we'll go over the instructions on who plays where in a little bit um, But yeah, those, that, those are the type of players you need there Your cam it can actually be a cam a or B It could be another striker like a shadow striker a secondary striker. That's what I play. I play secondary striker I play Warner and then I play Carlos Tevez up top. Carlos Tevez has that high strength. So he's very good at holding up the play. If I send him on a through ball. And then it opens up the space for Werner to come in and then shoot, score, whatever he needs to get done. Because he has that, that weak foot. So just keep that in mind. You can kind of mix and match however you want to play it. You can play target man. And you can play shadow striker. You can play two fast strikers. You can play whatever you want here. Uh, just depending on your play style. But I would recommend playing a second striker as your cam. Um, or if you really like a cam kind of like Haji for example that can do finesse shots from everywhere or Travellas or incisive passes then put that player here just make sure adapt it to your own play style how you want to play either a a playmaker or uh, a second striker kind of up to you uh, I already went over who plays striker and then your wingers fast pacey agile wingers that could do a little bit of everything I have Rodri with the finesse shot or Lisa with the Travellas uh, pink passes cut inside whatever you need to get done just a little bit of trickery they're both i think five star skill moves if i'm not mistaken so you could do a little bit of everything uh with both so make sure you have skillful wingers because they will get involved on the play a lot instructions uh goalie i have balanced everything you can play comes across a sweep keep if you want to i just kind of left it on balance i'm testing that out now again um no i don't play sandra panios the whole time but i sub around put yashin in I'm just trying to complete those objectives for that baby Xavi Alonso and for the XP. But, yeah, you can play either balance or comes across sweep keep if you want. Both center backs stay back while attacking. Right back, stay back, that is it. Left back, stay back, that is it. Now, before I go forward, 
I have noticed recently I took off the overlap instructions these on the fullbacks just because I wanted to be a little bit more uh, solid defensively if that makes sense and trust me, by not putting overlap on there, they don't move out of position as much. Because I used to play conservative, but they weren't really tackling anymore. I took off overlap, and they don't move out of position as much as they would before. I guess they don't really go forward at all. I can make them go forward if I want them to go forward. But if I leave it like this, they actually stay compact like a back four. And it really helps out with defending a lot. So if you struggle with defending, then just leave them like this. Take off the overlap instruction. If you, Even if you don't use this formation, but you get something out of this video is that if you struggle at defending just take off the overlap and it just won't move them out of position as much as you would think if you still want them to go forward then you make them go forward or you l1 trigger them to go forward but on the contrary if you do want them to be a little bit more attacking then by all means you can put overlap on both fullbacks that's completely up to you they still will go forward just because of direct passing instruction but uh, just keep that in mind now your right center mid is going to be more of your stay back while attacking type of player hence the stay back while attacking um cover center instruction they're just going to be more of a cdm quote unquote they're just going to stay back defend that's going to be your first line of defense so keep that in mind your left center mid is going to be balance everything cover center i experimented with get get forward but way too forward uh he just kind of he just runs into the cam a lot so uh just do cover center on this and he'll just play like a box to box center mid so somebody like a drew bellingham team of the year will be perfect here um just a good box to box center mid. You know who you have uh, that wants to play there. Your cam is going to be, and keep this in mind, stay forward because of that shadow sh uh, striker instructions and free roam. Put free roam on this cam. It'll allow him to drift anywhere from the right side to the left side to any of the half spaces. Now, he won't go all the way to the wings, which is really good. He's just going to be anywhere behind your striker. So he's just going to be helping him out. Wherever your striker goes, this guy will follow or he'll go into that open area that your striker leaves. So think about it like this. If your striker goes to the right side, then your cam will fill in the spot for him. So he'll act exactly like a shadow striker. So that's why I have it like this. And it's been working a lot. He just comes into the box randomly. And you can do quick little cutbacks, finesse shots, travelas, whatever you want to do. He's just going to be very, very crucial to your team. Hence why I got Werner there instead of playing him as striker just because he's really really good player in this game really agile can do a little bit of everything i really like werner in this game uh striker stay central getting behind that is it just a force the attacking hey high out of him make him start doing some things and then um the right winger and the left winger are both the same instructions they are cut inside so they can run into those half spaces like i was telling you earlier and getting behind to force the attacking ai out of them on both of them cut inside getting behind i don't have comeback on defense because i don't need them to defend that much the reason why is because since I have the fullbacks on just stay back while attacking, no overlap, they don't move out of position almost at all. So that allows my wingers to just kind of stay forward and be able to hit on the counterattack faster. So a lot of players don't really play this way. They usually play comeback on defense. And whenever, how, how do I want to say this? If you're playing against an opponent that's playing with this formation right here, because it's very good against this formation because this is the formation that most people use in the higher divisions. When they're playing with the 4-3-2-1, they usually attack with one fullback or two fullbacks or some variation of a fullback. But whenever you play with this formation and then you have them on the 4-3-3-4 formation and you have your, your wingers on basic and they don't drop that deep, it's way easier to hit them on the counterattack because at this point, they leave all this area open because they don't have any fullbacks defending anymore they're attacking so then you can attack with literally three players and the cam that's coming in behind so you will counter attack them and counter attack them and counter attack them as much as you possibly can so it's very very good very attacking formation um if once you're winning like 3-4-0 you can switch to another formation and be a little bit more defensive if you want completely up to you but these are the formations and tactics or that is the formation tactic that helped me get into the elite division i was literally using this team because i'm trying to complete that objective but yeah this is not even my best team it's just a team to have fun with just because i'm trying to have fun in this game if i possibly can but yep i'll catch you guys on the next one uh i'll be posting more videos later on today i'll uh, see you guys later peace